I'm Becca. And I'm Matt, and this is your Tech News Update. This week we've got IKEA adding augmented reality, Google catches Sparrow, and some snuggly gaming controllers. But first, Amazon meets the Thames. That's right, Amazon has chosen London as its base for its new media development centre. The London Mayor, Boris Johnson, was thrilled at the news, describing it as a splendid feather in London's cap. It's certainly good news for job creation in the capital, but if Boris is looking for a big chunk of tax from Amazon, he may be out of luck. Amazon is still nominally based in Luxembourg, where it pays minimal tax for transactions. So the London office will include Love Film and Push Button teams, along with other digital media projects that Amazon is planning. IKEA is probably one of the most loved and most hated furniture shops in the world. It all depends on whether football field sized shops full of home furnishings are your idea of heaven or hell. Well, in the future you may be able to experience more of the products before you leave the house. Every year IKEA prints over 200 million catalogues and the 2013 catalogue promises to be groundbreaking. It will be the first catalogue to include augmented reality. Shoppers will be able to download an app that will superimpose images when held over the pages, showing things like the shelves inside of the wardrobes. The app will be like an x-ray for furniture. It will also incorporate video and other media. Whether it will soften the blow for IKEA haters or prolong the agony is yet to be seen. Google Mail on the Mac and iOS has been criticised for not being as good as the Apple supplied option. So, Google has bought the fledgling email company Sparrow. This did spark a ripple of grumbles from the fan base of current Sparrow users because they see it as a loss of choice. However, more are hopeful that Google will roll out a new and improved email client for Mac and iOS users soon. But in the meantime, Sparrow is still available, but it won't be updated until the Google release is ready. The artist Lucy Sparrow is best known for her large pieces, such as this giant tapestry tube map. It's included a mile and a half of thread and 142 buttons. Lucy is currently working on this limited edition series of gaming cushions, including the classic Game Boy recreated in felt. And these giant Xbox controllers that double up as comfy pillows. Ideal for when that marathon gaming session finally succumbs to the inevitable nap time. You can see more of Lucy Sparrow's felt art at her website, feltsogood.com. That's your lot for this edition of Tech News. Uh, uh, thanks for watching.